and welcome back. I am your host, Rhonda Kulch, and thank you so much for joining us today. We are coming to you live from the Victor Green Celebrity Golf Outing, and right now we are with the amazing Kevin Sorbo. How are you today? I'm very fine, but I'm so upset we can't golf today because we got rained out. I mean, it's all for charity. I get it, but I love the game of golf, and every guy here, I guarantee you, is bummed out we're not golfing today. You know, we've been speaking to people all day, mm -hmm. and you get a mix. Some people are happy that they have the opportunity that they've been walking the room and meeting new people, sure. and it's giving them opportunities to chat with people that they may only see one time a year. Yeah. But when you're an avid golfer like yourself, and you are on a crazy schedule right now, yeah. I'm sure this was a little bit of downtime. It was, it was, and it was, it was like, I've been on the road, I got a movie coming out called Miracle in East Texas, go to MiracleInEastTexas.com, and it comes out in October, and it's a wonderful movie, and I've just been nonstop. I've, I've had seven flights in the last 11 days, so it's been pretty crazy. So this was like, ah, 36 hours to just sort of chill out, do a little golf, but uh, it's gone, taken away. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit more about the movie. You produced sure. the movie as well as you are in the movie, correct? I directed it as well. Oh. Yep, it's a true story. It's set in 1930, and um, it was written by Dan Gordon. Dan Gordon's an Oscar-nominated writer. He was Oscar. He was nominated for original screenplay for The Hurricane, where Denzel Washington won his Oscar. He wrote Wider uh, for Kevin Costner. He wrote 60 episodes of Highwood Heaven for Michael Land, and he's a really good writer. And this script is a true story set in 1930 about two con men, played by myself and the amazing John Ratzenberger. Uh, Lou Gossett Jr. is in it as well. And they would go through Oklahoma, Texas, lying to women, wooing widow, widows out of the money and fake oil wells. And then they actually strike oil. It's the largest oil fund in the history of the world. It's a PG-rated film. It's a comedy. Believe it or not, it's a comedy. And it's very, very, very uh, well written. It's a great script. So when you are reading a script yep. and you hear something about that, obviously, you know, it's a movie, but it still takes place where there's victims. How does that make you feel that you're putting that out? Um, you, it's, when you say victims, but all, most of the movies I do, there's redemption in them. Which that's why I love doing these movies that I've been doing. I do the opposite of Hollywood. I do movies that have love and hope and faith and, and redemption and laughter. Hollywood does Hollywood movies. So um, it's, it's, this, I'm, it, it's fun for me to be part of something like this. I love doing real life movies like this as well. And uh, I've got a couple more coming on the pipeline that I, that I also directed. So it's, it's, I've been very fortunate to be doing the movies that I want to do through uh, Sorbo Studios, my own studio company. Now, rumor has it you also just wrote a book. I did. It's through Brave Books. Um, check it out. It's got Test of Linehood. It's for kids like between the ages of 4 and 10. Go to bravebooks.com. And it's a wonderful book about letting boys be boys. Let boys grow up to be strong men, to become strong father figures. It's crazy what we're doing, I think, to kids right now. And we need kids to just be kids. It goes for girls being girls, too. You know, I mean, the, 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 the males have a place in the family, and females have a place in the land. And it's not taking anything away from either side. This is not a bashing movie of anything or any group. It's a, just a wonderful story about this line cub named Lucas, who out in the woods, uh, his little sister gets cut by this very poisonous plant that he's well aware of because of all the times he's been in the woods with his father. And the only place he can find a way to, to save her life is go to the mountain to get this special flower that his father told him about. And he has no time to run back home because he's closer to the mountain, otherwise she's going to die. So he's got to get past his, his insecurities, his, his fear and you know we all get roadblocks in life how do you handle these roadblocks so it's a wonderful family movie about about finding your own courage I love that so if people want to follow everything that you have going on how do they follow you Sorbo Studios dot com Sorbo Studio Sorbo my last name studios as in studios dot com all the information is on there my wife's uh, half is on there as well she's a homeschool advocate she travels the country she's got four books on on homeschooling and she uh, She's a road warrior in her, own, in her own right as well. I love it. Well, thank you so much. I know that so many people were looking forward to seeing you today, so I don't want to hold you up, but I appreciate your time. I appreciate you donating your time to the Victor Green Foundation. Um, he does amazing things for yes. our community, and um, without you, events like this can't happen, so thank you. It's the 10th anniversary, so I'll find a way to golf in my mind, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll set you up with a simulator. How's I love that? It. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. <laughs> when, when, you know, what is it? When you get lemons, you make lemonade. Yeah, so. I'm, a, I'm a golf nut, so I'm all for it. So. We'll, we'll, find, we'll find something. Right. So until next time, stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining us today.